All right, guys, it's time to suit up. Let's do this. Oh! All right. The giant Geronimo is living happy life, but he's about to have some some tank mitts, if you will. No! My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my wild and people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in on today's episode. On today's episode, we're going to take a closer look to see how exactly Geronimo is doing right over here in this nursery cage. Apart from that, guys, I'll give you the long-awaited update as to how everyone in Catfish Kingdom is doing. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this. Let's get it. All right, my wild and people, let's take a look at the fish. Look at the iridescent sharks right here, guys. Look at them go. Looking so beautiful. Guys, I have three iridescent sharks. One is albino, as you guys can see, and the other ones are two regular black iridescent sharks. Who else do we have going on? Oh, look at this guy right over here. This Lima catfish. This Lima shovelnose catfish wouldn't hurt anyone. And this guy, he's pretty cool. And we also have our Asian red tail somewhere here, guys. Let's see if we can spot him. Oh, there he is. You can kind of see some of him. Let me go. Yeah, he's hiding good. He loves this driftwood. But you guys can see his red Asian tail. Kind of. Oh, there it is, right there. All right, where, who else is there? Oh, there's his mouth. And we are good. Oh, look at him. He came out for the camera. That's my boy. What's up? What's up? What's up? Come closer. I guess not, but he's getting pretty big since I got him at the fish farm in Miami. Who else do we have here? We have my giraffe nose catfish who's hating life right now. He's hating life right now because this tank may be a little bit too crowded because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's the Pictus catfish, I believe, that's seven. There's the Lima, that's eight. And the Red Tail, that's nine. So I have about nine fish here, although they get along in harmony. The Arowana is a very aggressive fish. Because this Arowana is aggressive and taking a little dookie, it makes life difficult for my draft nose catfish. So I'm thinking if I put these three iridescent sharks in Olympia with Geronimo, maybe, maybe. Draft nose catfish and Arowana will get along together. Isn't that right, buddy? Ooh, look like he got into a fight. Look at his scale. The iridescent sharks are much more gentler. They're calmer in nature. Look at them just enjoying life. And if you guys look at their fins, their tails, they have been getting nipped at. And pretty much the, the person that's been harassing all of my fish is the Arowana. But you can't lie. This thing is beautiful. Once these iridescent sharks are moved, then maybe the arowana will stop bothering everybody because they'll have more room and he'll have more room and the draft nose catfish will have more room to roam around. All right, so how's Geronimo doing? Oh, take a look at Geronimo. What's up, Geronimo? He's doing amazing, guys. He's doing amazing. This cage is working perfectly as designed. The only issue is it doesn't float. As you guys can see, it touches the bottom. So because it doesn't float, a lot of debris collects around it and in it. So as a result, guys, I'm going to do a quick upgrade. I'm going to go inside my pool pond, put some floaties around, as you guys can see, around it. That way it does float. And hopefully my pool pond won't be as dirty. And Olympia will be looking nice and clean, as usual. All right, guys, it's time to suit up. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, got one foot in. That's Geronimo. I haven't come back since we built it. Geronimo's doing amazing. Where have you been? I've been watching your videos. videos. No, what you talking about? Stop. <laughs> Stop with that nonsense. He's right there. Geronimo! There he is. There you go. All right. Ah, I'm so close. Go. All right, guys. I also have a little snack, as you guys can see, right over here. Oh, boy. For Bassy. I'm going to also try to hand feed Bassy while I'm in there. While you're inside. While I'm inside. That's going to be pretty cool. Let's see what happens. My foot is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just... Yeah. It's alright, you just stepped on the bass. Whoa! No, I didn't. I'm joking with you, bro. I'm gonna pass you this so I can get back there. Sounds good, I appreciate it. So when I miss this shot, it's not my fault. Oh, Bassy's coming close. Bassy's coming close. Bassy's hungry. She's definitely checking it out. Is she right She's here? She's checking it right there, right there. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. This is so cool. I'm just gonna release it. It's part of the training process. Oh! Alright! That was nasty! That's my girl. A couple more of those and she'll be trained to eat out of my hands. Yeah, yeah. Alright guys, let's get back to business. This is what we came here for. 
The giant Geronimo is living a happy life, but he's about to have some, some tank mates, if you will, or some cage mates. So, my trusty boy, Joey Slam, will pass me some materials. I will? Uh, yes, you will. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. You. I'm going to need some of the blues. You want this? Blues. A couple zip ties for now. Take that. Keep those in my pockets. Nice. Very convenient. Where'd you get these waiter things here? Bass Pro. Bass a Pro. Bass Pro. Okay. Right. Eat a new one. Here. Ah! This guy. All right, what else do you need? And I need some scissors. You need scissors? Perfect, right over there. Do you just have these things laying around on the ground? At times. Hmm. Security guys. Yeah. Security. For real. That guy's wow. Oh my god, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. All right, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing it about halfway. Halfway? Yeah, just about here. This should be fine. Hmm. How's the lighting? Great. Alright, so right over here, I'll cut it, make a mark right here, and cut it outside the pool. Handy dandy zip ties. Mark it halfway. Just about here. Should be fine. What do you guys think? I think it's great. What do you think, Joey? It's a good idea. I mean, you only gotta, the only way you're to find out is if you do it. You're right. Beautiful thing about zip ties, you can just cut and retie and do it again. You're good to go. Oh my god, I'm sinking. Yeah, that's the thing with those DIYs. You just gotta like trial and error, bro. Nice. Got one of them on. Struggle, guys. Alright, one side's good. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Stop. Alright, guys, as you can see, this side right here, the right side, is already closed. No way. Yeah, take a look at that. Oh, yeah, it is off the ground. You guys can see that. All right, now it's time to do the same thing with the other side. The power of noodles. Yeah, yeah. Noodles do a lot nowadays. What are you talking about? I'm talking about floating noodles, bro. <laughs> That's a good idea. Now I can float around. You think it's going to go around in circles with the flow or not? Find out. Only one way to find out. That's just to do it. Yep. Poor Geronimo. Is he still in there? He's almost living life. <laughs> He's getting thrown around. <laughs> no, he isn't. I'm just talking nonsense. He's he? good. He's good. Alright, guys, as you guys can see, we have movement. This is moving away. It's moving closer. Closer to me. Alright, guys, so we're going to leave it just like this with the two floaties on the side. I don't need to wrap it around because, as you guys can see, it's floating. It's just moving with the current. They're experiencing life. This is like paradise. All right, guys, so while I'm in Olympia, you saw me feed Bassy. What about all these other beautiful fish? Let's see if I can hand feed them as well. Ooh, that guard looks like he's ready. Got some tilapia on hand. Now we just got to find the fish. Right over here. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. Oh, he smells it. He smells it. You guys ready for this? Oh, my God. He knows he doesn't want to hurt me again. Oh, he sees it, he sees it, and he picks it up. No hand feeding because I want to keep my fingers. But let him go. Dude, he eats the whole half filet, dude. Yeah, but eat filet all day. Dang. All day, all day. Oh, look at Giant. Oh, you want some of this? Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's just, let's just see. You want some of this, Giant? Giant's a little bit wishy-washy, but let's see. Yeah, it's too cold for the catfish. At least the big catfish. We'll try Catfish Kingdom shortly. I gotta take a look at Catfish Kingdom. Guys! I've been slaving long hours of the day, all throughout the night, making sure Catfish Kingdom is presentable so you guys can see the size of my baby. Guys, started from two inches now, look at them now. Big one. We got three red tails. We got two tiger shovel nose hybrids. We got a massive arowana. We got a tiger shovel nose purebred. We got two, two clowns. The clowns are over here? One clown's over there, a regular clown. Okay, what's the other one? And we oh, have a little baby. baby clown. Look at that, it is golden in here. And somehow, I still have a jack in Oh my god, your marble car is getting so big. And the marble car, and the marble car. The tiger shoveling. Hyper. That's so cool. Oh, he's up. Oh, he's up. Oh, he knows what time it is, oh, guys. Oh my god. Let's see if he's out here. Oh, he oh, tasted oh. it. He tasted it. Let's see. Let's see, is he coming? I guess not. <laughs> no, huh? but it's, 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 it's a winner. He's gorgeous. Look at the patterns on that fish. He's a really beautiful fish. I bet you if I drop it, he'll eat it. 
We'll see. You gotta drop it. That this flow, this new flow system is nice. Yeah, they love it. What about the little babies? Look at them all lined up. You know it's feeding time. Or they just want to eat. Oh, oh, the Marble Cara fooled me. Look at this. Look at these whiskers. I love Marble Cara. Okay, Red Tail, Red Tail. Yeah, that's my boy. Red wow. Tail didn't disappoint me. That Red Tail did not want to embarrass me, and I appreciate it. I'll just drop it here. We'll see who gets it. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, no one's hungry because it's cold. It's a bit cool. Right? That normally happens with catfish with any fish. If the temperature gets a little bit too cold, they're not going to eat because their metabolism slows down. So right now they're probably full from the meal that I gave them about two to three days ago. So guys, we're going to stop feeding them. We're just going to admire how beautiful they look. Look at that. Oh, that oh. And how friendly they are towards me. That tiger shoving though is gorgeous. Shout out to my boy. Catch them all fishing in Anthony. Dude, I have a tiger shoving those with different patterns. Yeah. And now seeing that this is nice and clean. Oh, what you trying to say? It was dirty before? No, no, no. The thing is I couldn't see before because of the algae blooms <laughs> and stuff that's going on. Yeah. I'm thinking, man, maybe if you want, I have one that you could possibly try to grow out. Because this is insane that it's this big. True, true. Oh, look, look, look. Someone wanted to They're eat eating? Something. Come on. Eating here and there, little pieces, nothing too big. The flow is unreal. What I was saying about that, that tiger shoving would you take care of it maybe? Yeah, sure. Hmm, find out in another episode of Wild Farley. What? Wild World of Farley. Wild World of Joe Slam. I mean Farley. Yeah, yeah. Wild World of Farley. <laughs> yeah. I might be mad also because I did take a good time, a good amount of time feeding Captain's Kingdom, and I probably disturbed them. So I wouldn't be surprised. Alright guys, now it's time to take the sharks. We're gonna fill this up with water, and we're gonna acclimate them one by one by one. That makes three. Do these guys have names or anything like that? Yeah, they're desert sharks. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Piece All of right. crap. <laughs> we got some water right here. <laughs> Try to scoop up the albino. Little guy. Got him. Perfect. I'll buy another one. Oh my god. I got you, bro. I appreciate you. Woo wee! Okay, relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax, relax. Alright. Teamwork makes the dream work. Exactly. Release him into the bag. Nice. That works. Thank you. So you're gonna do one by one? One by one. Yeah. Let's tie it up. Gonna acclimate this little guy just for a little bit. There you go, buddy. There you go. Yeah, that's better for him right there. Here we oh, go. Oh, he's perfect. Nice. Safe and away from all the predators you have in that pond. Exactly. All right, guys. Thank you. It's been about 15 minutes, so this little buddy's good. Guys, it's all the same water, all lake water, just different temperatures. So I'm just gonna put this little buddy in a little holding spot while his rest, while the rest of his friends acclimate. All right, guys, time to do the same thing with the other two. All right, guys, so all three sharks have been acclimated. They're good to go. Went through the same exact process. Now look at them. All the bubbers on. Look at them go. Small, medium, big. One albino, two regular. Cool, oh, man. It's exciting. Now it's time to put them in their new nursery cage. You guys ready for this? I yeah. I am. I want them to get big and strong. And the fact that I'm moving them from the 75-gallon tank to the cage, they'll be able to grow bigger, have constantly fresh flowing water. Apart from that, at least more room in the 75 gallon tank for my big monsters to get even bigger. So it's perfect, guys. Alrighty. Whoa. You're getting in? I'm getting in. Oh, that's nice of you. But sure. actually, that's really smart, just in case to get out, and then all of a sudden, Bassy gets oh, hungry, no. and then Bassy eats no. some iridescent sharks. No. Dude, they sell iridescent, they sell shark at, uh, at Publix to eat. Publix? Yeah. Swayfish, buddy. Swayfish. Sway All right, Joey Slam. Can All right. Please pass me the pocket. No. Please. No. Please. All right. Look good. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's take a look at these babies. All right. They're really spiny little creatures. Just want to take a look at the albino. Oh my God! Almost had. Him. I don't want to damage him. Don't want to hurt him. Ooh, the other one. Ooh. What you doing? Come on, sway fish. Take a look at him, guys. Look how beautiful he is. Take a look at him. 
Oh, this is eyes. so beautiful. Such, crap. So cool. Such a beautiful albino. Iridescent shark. You guys ready? He's about to be released. Woo wee! He's enjoying life. A bigger tank, more room, and he's buddies with Geronimo. Geronimo. Oh, Geronimo! Should I do the same thing with the regular ones? Come on, feisty little boy. Oh, wow, he's really beautiful. Beautiful color. Okay. See, that's exactly why we did that. <laughs> Good choice right. on that. <laughs> exactly. Last but not least, a little baby. He's fast. Yeah, he's pretty quick. Oof. Don't want to hurt him. He's probably going to see him jump up by himself on his own accord. Oh, he almost tried to try to get me with the spikes. Ooh, they hurt. Ah! Ah, okay, he's free. <laughs> All right. All right, my Wadden people. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Guys, take a look at this. It's a happy little family. Geronimo is no longer alone. He has some tank mates. All right, guys. A lot of new updates coming on. A bunch of new renovations are going to happen to the pool ponds that you see here. But you have to stay tuned to find out what happens. Until next time, guys. Stay wildin'. Hey, hey, you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.